gotta say it twice, it ain't my fault Every little thing got a price, that's what I thought That's what they taught, yeah I'ma take my chance till I drop, mm -hmm. You know this ain't the time for the two of us Ooh, I ain't got space to be thinking about Bro, you no duh, am I thinking Me and you, I guess it's over feeling. Was a rainbow, but was sinking Lost my I might come running back When our hearts get back on track When the stars line up, that's that I've been attached, just looking out We move so fast, those moving south Do my secret sauce, fat in and out That's how you gloss that pretty mouth You know this ain't The time for the two of us Ooh, I ain't got space Love it when you toss it back. Love it when you talk back. Good morning, friends. Welcome to the vlog. So this week I thought it would be really fun to film a little vlog because I am home alone. I do live with my family. I live with my parents and my younger brother, but they're away for the entire week, and so I am home alone. I have the whole house to myself, and I thought it would be really fun to bring you guys along with me and kind of show you what I get up to. I guess this is like really good practice for when i move out which might be soon you heard it here first i might be moving out soon more to come on that a little bit later but i guess this is kind of good practice for having to be a full adult and do everything for myself now i have to be fully independent and that's a little scary. I'm excited. I thought I'd bring you guys along. I thought I'd vlog this week and just have a fun week alone. a lot later now and I haven't really moved from this spot. I've just been sitting here for the past couple hours doing a lot of computer work, answering emails, making phone calls, editing, doing some schoolwork. I feel like 80% of my days are spent like this in front of a screen editing and doing a lot of behind the scenes work and while i love it because it's like all part of the job and all part of the creative process i feel like it's not very exciting to film so today has been very uneventful and not very exciting but hopefully in the days to come there will be a little bit more excitement in this vlog i have no internet I don't know what's going on. I don't know if it's just my Wi-Fi or if it's the whole area. I know they're doing a lot of work on the internet in our area, so it could be that. But nevertheless, I have no internet. And so I'm in the kitchen and I'm going to make another cup of coffee because I could really do with another cup of coffee. <laughs> I've recently been reading through this book called Call to Create by Jordan Rayner. If you've never heard of it, it's kind of like a biblical perspective on creative work and working in the creative industry. And so it's been super interesting and I took a little bit of a break from it over this last month, but I picked it up again and I've been really enjoying it. I've really just been taking my time going through it, underlining things that stand out to me, making a lot of notes, highlighting. I really have not been afraid to write in this book because there's 
so many good little pieces of information that I want to be able to like easily look back on and remember. I've been really enjoying it and I would highly recommend this book for anyone who feels called to create and kind of wants a little bit of a biblical perspective on creative work. But I also think that this book would be really good for people who really aren't necessarily in the creative industry but are just interested in hearing a biblical perspective on work because I think he makes some really interesting points on work and rest and just working for God and not for yourself. So I think it is a super interesting book. I think it's full of a lot of really good information. because suddenly I have no food in my house and the fridge is very bare so I need to go and get some groceries if I would like to eat. I made a little Greek inspired pasta salad because I was just really creating something fresh and light and a pasta salad sounded really good and Greek flavors are one of my favorites. It just has red lentil pasta, tomatoes, cucumbers, olives, vegan feta, some spinach and then it has like a dressing on it. I filmed the recipe for reels and TikTok so that'll be up on my Instagram soon but it looks delicious. It smells so good and so I'm going to give it a little taste test. Oh my goodness. That is so good. It's so fresh and light and just so summery. I'm obsessed. I think this is going to be a new go-to meal. by Emily Henry. I've heard so many good things about Emily Henry as an author. Everyone loves her books. I have been dying to read one of her books so when I found this one on the book outlet for literally five dollars I was very excited because her books are normally pretty pricey but I have been loving it so far. It's such a good summary read and I really like her style of writing so I'm really excited to keep reading this and then I think I'll definitely be reading her other two books. But so far it's really cute and I'm really enjoying it.
washed my bedding all by myself and I'm feeling very adult. <laughs> I know I'm 21 and I've never used the washer or the dryer by myself because truthfully living with my parents I just give my washing to my mom and she is the most amazing human and she does it for me but my bedding desperately needed a wash and she's not here so I had to do it all by myself and I didn't even ask her I did it completely on my own and I'm feeling way too proud of myself for that name a better feeling than freshly washed sheets I'll wait <sighs> exactly how many strokes he has left he's just breathing pushing and he knows that he's out in front will he maintain it your champion in the men's youth single Devin Godfrey of Woodlands stretch fit so I have a top from H&M jeans are Levi's and then my shoes are Adidas and then of course I have my Bible which is just from Amazon and then I also have a really cute hair clip in from Amazon as well I am this close to starting a bookstagram account. I just love books. I've been ordering so many books recently. I've been reading so many books and I could just talk about them for hours and hours and hours. And the bookstagram community just seems so sweet that I kind of want to do it. But I'm not sure because having one Instagram is kind of a lot to manage. I don't know if I'd be able to manage two. 
You guys are gonna have to let me know. Should I start an Instagram account just dedicated to books where I can talk about them, share my reviews, share my pictures and my thoughts, and we can just have a little bookstagram community? But I ordered more books. Like I need more books, but I bought the first book in the selection series at a secondhand bookstore for five dollars. I just got it because it was cheap, and I thought, why not? Not really thinking that I would enjoy it. And you know what? I love that book so much that I went out and bought the rest of the series. I bought the Elite and the One, which are the next two books in the series. And then I also got the Air and the Crown. When I bought these books, I didn't know that these two were a separate story to the other three. Otherwise, I might not have bought them like right now, but I did really enjoy her writing style. So I think I'll enjoy these two. I definitely didn't need to buy more books since I have a pile. My TBR list is very long and I have a whole load of unread books waiting for me. I have lots to read and I'm very excited because like I said, I love to read. Let me know if I should start a bookstagram account. I'm seriously thinking about it. just wanted to read a scripture and it's from Philippians 2 verse 5. It says, in your relationships with one another, have the same mindset as Christ Jesus. And I really like this verse. It was actually the verse of the day on the Bible app this morning and it really stood out to me because I think a lot of the time we tend to become very self Focus, and we forget that we are actually called to serve and love others above ourselves. This verse is basically saying that in our relationships with one another, we are supposed to have the same mindset as Christ Jesus, and that is humility. Jesus died for us. He sacrificed himself for us to save us. He put everyone else above himself. He served, he was humble, and that is exactly what we are supposed to be like. We are supposed to love others, serve others well, and put others' needs above our own. And so I think that the scripture just kind of serves as a really good reminder that we are supposed to be like Jesus, and we're supposed to love others and serve others. It's not supposed to be all about ourselves, which I feel like the focus in culture now has become very me, myself, and I, and that's not how it's supposed to to be and so I don't know I just thought that the scripture was really good and so I wanted to share something a little bit different um, and not something that everyone wants to hear but I think it's important It is my last day living alone. My family are all on the way home. They'll be back late afternoon. And I thought I would end off this video by chatting a little bit about my experience and what I thought about living alone for a week. So I actually really enjoyed it. While I love being around people, I love socializing, I also really value my alone time and having my own space without anybody was just really, really nice. I actually found myself perfectly content with just me and it made me really excited to move out in the near future which i hinted at the beginning of this video is actually pretty soon so i am really excited for that time i'm gonna miss my family like crazy but i'm also really excited to just be independent and have my own space so i think i'm gonna end off the video here thank you all so much for keeping me company this week i had a lot of fun and i will see you all in my next video